By now you probably know that I say that the best self-defense tool that there is besides a gun is a flashlight. And that pisses a lot of people off because they don't understand what I mean. And what some people think I mean is using a mag light or something like that as an impact weapon. Now we've done videos about flashlight usage for self-defense. What I'm usually talking about is using it as like a debuff so that you can then fight that person. Basically like boxing plus a flashlight. We're also going to explain the best way to land a strike with a flashlight of about this size, which people already know is the hammer fist. Some of the myths surrounding hammer fisting someone with an object in your hand, whether it's a flashlight or a pen or coubaton. <laughs> It's not as easy as you think. We're gonna show you why you probably won't land a hammer fist with your flashlight, and maybe also show you how you can land a hammer fist with your flashlight. Is that confusing enough? All right. Whenever someone thinks about hammer fisting someone, <laughs> they think that it's just like, oh, now I have this in my hand and I can beat the shit out of this person. But yeah, look what happens. When you, when you swing things at people, they do this. Now, true, if I were to hit his forearm, with this, that would hurt way more than this, and maybe that would open up, you know, something else. But if you can't land, this is always the case with self-defense weapons. If you don't possess the ability and skill to land a hammer fist on someone's face, you don't possess the ability and skill to land a hammer fist on someone's face with a flashlight in your hand. Like, if you can't fight, you're not suddenly gonna be a better fighter because now you're holding something. In fact, it's gonna make the whole process of wrestling more difficult. So, speaking of wrestling, that's how you're gonna land the hammer fist. We're gonna look for what's called inside position uh, in wrestling. So if your hands are like this, and my hands are like this, if I wanna land this, from the outside it's gonna be impossible. All he has to do is flinch, right? And, or even if he just closes his eyes, puts his hand out, throws his hands up, right? It's not, it's not gonna land. I can't land this from the outside. Maybe, like I said, I can hit his hand or whatever. That would suck, that's great. But if I wanna land like this devastating fight ending blow into fight in seconds, I need what's called inside position, which means that wherever his hands are, I have to be inside of them. Uh, for you Muay Thai guys, we have you know bicep control or collar tie. For you wrestling guys, if we squat down real low and we're wrestling like this, looking for underhooks, that sort of thing. Because if you can get whatever means that inside position, now I'm able to land this as an impact weapon. The flashlight is just a multiplier of whatever you can already do. So if I can box pretty good, now I can add in these hammer strikes. If I can wrestle pretty good and get inside position, right, I can add in these hammer strikes. I gotta clear this out. Maybe I get to here, right? Get this underhook, uh, framing him away with either hammer strikes or using it as a force multiplier. If I didn't have the flashlight, right, and he, draw, he threw like a headlock on, right, and I had to like cross face him and, you know, stand up or do uh, whatever headlock escape you would normally use, you still need to know that headlock escape, but just now we add a flashlight to it, and now when I start framing, this sucks, mm -hmm. right? This sucks really bad. I wonder if you could like, like cook him maybe. <laughs> I leave that there long enough? <laughs> like, like if you're hour. squeezing me? For like an hour. Just you wait, buddy. Yeah. Just you wait. My old everyday carry uh, fit completely in my hand, which is cool because no one can see it. I can hold it in my hand like this and you can't see it, but then I'm clenching a fist, and blah, blah, blah. This one has just enough. And you can hit pretty hard. You can hit stuff pretty hard with this. So let's do like a, like a review of the flashlights. If you are interested in these Nightcore flashlights, I'll put links in the description below to all of these products. I've carried these for months now. I told them when they wanted to send it to me, that I was like, you know, I'm gonna carry it around for months before I actually do the review. They got super annoyed and they emailed me a bunch of times like, yo, when's the review? It's like, when I'm done carrying around. So I could say that I would definitely carry either one of these flashlights. This one is cool. It has this, it has the on off switch, like it normally would, tail cap, but it also has this little lever here that gives you the strobe. I'm not a huge fan of the strobe, but it, it's cool that it's two distinct things. If you've got it on and you hit that button, you get bright, and dim, you can configure that. You can switch that to bright and strobe or dim and strobe. You can configure it any way you want. I don't use the strobe. The strobe ain't shit. The little guy, this has definitely ridden around with me as an everyday carry. Um, I don't wear real pants because I don't have a real job, so I can't really uh, always carry like the biggest whiz-bang tactical type weaponry. So just a little flashlight and you're gonna use this all the time. Let's look at the flashlights in the dark. 
If you want to get like lumen counts and everything like that, just check out the links below on the lights. I'll say they're bright enough. The everyday carry one, uh, it's not quite bright enough to be completely blinding from like this type of distance if there's any ambient light. Like it's unpleasant. Yeah, yeah I can still see you. But you can still see me. Mm -hmm. This one, the P20, at its brightest setting, it's blinding. Like you can't see. No. <laughs> it, it takes that long, right? Yeah, I, I can, can see it. I can tell there's a person but like details, features, seeing if you've got a weapon or if you've changed your position. So, you know, if I'm coming up on you and we're about to fight and throw down and I give you this and then move, yeah, I can't. <laughs> yeah he's not gonna be able to track you. I've still got spots in my eyes just now from doing this. This one is unpleasant, but not as bad. But that's about, that makes sense with the, uh, you know, size of them. This is the NT1A, right? Just, it's plenty bright to like see around out here. This is the P20. Both of them, fine lights and good size. And this one, this one takes uh, double A's instead of like the lithiums, which mm -hmm. are super expensive. And this one has this cool like rechargeable battery, which I'll show you guys in a second. Oh, real quick, let's show that toggle switch now that we're here inside. It's like this kind of lever here. And when you push that, you get the strobe. You push this, you get it like on and off. And uh, while it's on, you can cycle through your presets but that's pretty neat. But that's not the coolest part about this light. The coolest part about this light, this has the uh, plug-in for it in the battery. So you just plug it into the charger and it just uses like, what was the last USB, micro USB? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it just uses micro USB and it gives you a little indicator and this will turn green when it's charged up. And this battery, this is 3,400 milliamps you're a nerd you know what that means what does that mean that's like a lot right the power of the battery life i believe yeah but that's like a that's a big battery that lasts a long time this thing it i tried to wear i tried to wear it out so i could do the review and it took like forever when it turns green it's charged it's all the way up i've never seen that yeah that's way better than yeah. buying batteries oh, yeah. or needing a charger because then the charger always ends up like in a drawer or you know so keep that in mind when you're shopping for self-defense gadgetry you can't just buy some shit like this stick it in your pocket and that's a solution you're gonna have to know how to fight if you want to strike with one of these you're gonna have to know some striking if you want to grapple with it you're gonna have to know some grappling it just multiplies your current ability uh, if you want to watch the video that kicked off this whole flashlight thing, you know, the best self-defense tool that there is, I'll put that video right there. And if you want to watch more stuff about how to actually use the flashlight, you know, in a defensive capacity, like actual tactics, I'll put that video right there. And if you want more fitness tips, self-defense techniques, gear reviews, as well as concepts and principles that make you hard to hurt, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. Same. Same.